Hi, Dr. Marianne Cintron. I want to thank you for being here today. I want to talk to you about my app, CDSM, and how I'm making it free for you now on Android. It's still $9.99 on, on uh, iOS, but on your Android, you can get it for free now. So I'm going to show you how to download it on your phone if you um, are a little bit fearful of technology. There's nothing to be afraid of. I'm going to share my screen, first of all. and show you to go to your app store, download your app store, then go to it, then go into your search, and you're gonna type CDSM. And what should pop up is Cintron Dyslexia Music. I had limited words that I could put in there, limited characters. So scroll down just a little bit, and you'll see a D and a B reversed with my logo, my app logo. Click open. So what I start with is seven or eight minutes of classical music that can be played in your left ear when you want to sleep, when you want to relax and rest. When the students are reading from my phonics book, they're going to be listening to the classical music. And then um, I have letters is the next set, which is the letters A to Z. I exclude Q, U, Q, but A to Z, and I give the letter name and the letter sound. So your child can actually write the letter when they hear me say the letter name and sound. And because we want kids using all their senses, if you have them repeat after I say A, I'll say A, A, B, B. You could have them repeat that before they, or as they write it, and then they'll say B and they'll write it. That's gonna help their brain. So I have 28 exercises here and they vary from uh, easy uh, consonant, vowel, consonant words to four letter words to um, exercise five has two syllable words. So you can jump in the middle if your child is more advanced. Now, if your child has dyslexia, and is in a remedial program, see how that remedial program is helping them. And the music in the left ear will only enhance what they're learning. So if your child, if you suspect dyslexia, but there hasn't been a diagnosis, then this app is gonna to be too difficult for them. But if your child is not dyslexic and just needs some reading support, or you have a second language learner that needs reading and writing and spelling support, you can have them go through the exercises, listen to the pronunciation of the words that I speak, and then take the time to learn how to spell them. So you can get the spelling exercises to learn what the words are and how to spell them on Teachers Pay Teachers. Go Just go to my um, Dyslexia Solutions and look for book 1C to get the, the spelling list. But... Um, I make all the books really affordable, but I wanted to show you what some of the strategies are as I teach this. So for example, um, exercise one, you can have your child listen and then write the beginning sound. You can make day two, have your child write the beginning and vowel sound. On day three, have your child write the ending sound. On day four, have your child write the whole word. So you may be surprised that as your child is only expected to write the ending sound, they might write the whole word. That was what I discovered. So some kids can follow the, the pace that I read the words at. And some kids need... Um, to skip every every other word. And then you may choose to just do the first 20 if your child's younger. Now, if your child's older, have them just skip every other word and then come back. Um, what I'd like to recommend is do a baseline, uh, see what the child is successful with, and then take it from there. If the child seems to know all the beginning sounds, but misses the vowel or misses the ending sound, 
then that's going to be your next strategy. Maybe you may go through each word and only have them write the vowel sound. I've said that to students and they go ahead and put the first letter as well. So I never, you know, even though I really want them to follow instructions, if they feel comfortable writing more words, I'm good with that. Uh, exercise two, same thing. Have them write the first two sounds that they hear. Have them the second day, they're going to write the second two sounds that they hear. Uh, these are the uh, CVCC words. Then exercise three, we have a CCVC, which is consonant. Um, CC stands for consonant, consonant, which is our consonant team. Have them write the consonant teams they hear at the beginning of each set. Then set day two, have them write the ending that they hear, starting with the vowel and the ending sound. Day three, have them write the whole word. And just have them on day four, have them repeat it all until they get 100%. And if they get one or two wrong and you really don't want to belabor it and have them repeat it again, it's okay. You can move on to the next exercise. So here I would have them write the first two, give a baseline, see what they may know, and you'll be surprised what they know and what they don't know. And then have them write the first two and then have them write the last. So the thing with this is there is a strategy to teaching these words. And that's what I have in my reading program, step-by-step -step reading. You can buy parts of the program on Teachers Pay Teacher. Uh, you may have your own manipulatives. You may have your own phonogram cards or plastic letters. But get the reading program to see uh, 1A uh, is the instructions that lets you know the step-by-step -step for new, new teachers or if you're new to using music. And then that will help you. Exercise 8. Again, have them write the blend only at the beginning of the word or have them, day two, have them write the ending sounds. So when I get into, um, oh, sorry, I forgot. This is, when you get into exercise five, you'll have syllables. So what I'll have the child do is write the first two, the first syllable on day one, write the second syllable on day two. This would actually be a real good um Baseline to see if your child knows syllables. And then we have multisyllabic words. So I go up to 28 exercises. And then for the sentence groups, a lot of kids um, struggle with the spelling words when they're in a sentence. So that's a, just a very special intervention that you can try. I'm going to stop my share right now. Have your child take a look at the spelling sentences and you could have them just write three sentences or you could have them write five sentences or give the older kids more of a challenge. And uh, we want to work on them. They don't want to add or omit letters and syllables. So that's how you use my app and it's free. I've had it for three years. I've copyrighted it and um, it's available. I'm so excited to share. So if you would write a review when you use it, write some comments in. Um, I'm going to have on my website frequently asked questions, and I'm going to provide answers for those questions. So my website is dyslexia-solutions.com. And again, the app is CDSM, Syntron Dyslexia Solutions with Music. Now, if you're not familiar with my kinder material, the uh, Read, Write, and Spelling, Read, Write, and Listen by Pleasant Roland, I have, I'm going to start uploading those videos free so you can see how to work with your kinders and first graders who need reading help. And I don't haven't used the app with them because it's pretty intense just teaching reading and writing and listening to kinders and first graders. So the app is really for, I would say, second grade through high school. Even adults could use the app. Now, I also have my step-by-step -step reading. I've had that for four years. It's amazing. I've been improving it. And I have training videos that you can use. This would be ideal for a paraprofessional, speech pathologist, homeschool moms and dads, and uh, charter schools. It's a little bit trickier getting it into the public school because of 
all the people they have to answer to, but private schools could order my step-by-step -step reading. And if you're at a school where you've received a special stipend to do some uh, personal self-development and professional development, order it for yourself. It's a worthwhile investment. And you can find that also on my website at dyslexia-solutions.com. I've posted some amazing activities that we've had from October, November, December, January. So look through some of those activities. There's so much that I have to offer you. I really wanna help you help your child read. And remember, every child has a right to read. Bye-bye now.